Hi everybody. Um, I'm just going to start doing my videos where I end it and tell you um, we'll finish up on the next video or we'll, I'll see you at the next video or something like that. Just so, because ending it like I do, I don't know, it just feels weird because <laughs> I'm actually still in the craft room after the last video. I just cleaned up Mary's oils <laughs> and I'm like, this is just ridiculous. I'm just going to start telling you just if you want to continue to watch me in the progress with this, this book, please come back and watch the next video when it's uploaded and I'll see you until next time kind of thing like that, you know? That's what I'm going to do. So anyways, this is where I left off last time. See, I didn't even glue it down. <laughs> so, okay. Um, this will go here. I don't know if I want to glue it down or do I, I don't know, I kind of like the way this looks, but I just don't want the staples showing. So, I need to find something that can go across that and hide that. Again with the washi stickers. <laughs> oh, lordy me. Yes, I do laugh at myself. You always should laugh at yourself. Smile and laugh, laugh and smile. I know I'm being weird now. I can't help myself. Okay, we've got green over here, so I'm going to use some green, maybe. Nope. <laughs> Don't like it. Oh, let's see. Um, I don't see anything in this drawer. So we'll go mosey over to the... Yeah, I'm going to mosey over to my uh, cart. It's way over here. Just grabbed them all. <laughs> well, not all of them. I actually have more over there. I just don't feel like getting them. I just hope that there's one in this that I can use. I do like that, but I don't know. Don't like it for this. Let's see. What else do I have? Oh, that's cool. Uh, no, no, no. That's not too bad. Hmm. Let's see. No. Okay, those are very florally, so that won't work. Hey, what about that? <gasps> no! Where did it go? Ah, dang it. <laughs> oh, well, it's down there somewhere. I gotta be careful. There's a gap between the table and that table, so and there's a lot of stuff underneath the table, so I can't really get to it. What is this? It's like they missed, or like maybe it's the edging of their washi tape, you know, roll or something. They sold it like that because it's got a little bit of floral over here and like an edging of floral here, <laughs> like it was cut off or something. I do have these, and I think he's, does he wear a bow tie? No, he wears that little thing around his neck. Darn. Okay, so no on that. That's floral, floral. Pink, um, we have these things, like what that looks like almost. Um, now, I'm going to go with this one. This one, I got this at the, uh, I think either, yeah, I think I got this at the resale, oh, yeah, at the resale store. All it is is like a coppery color dots. They're really, really pretty. So I'm going to use that to go with the top. I think that would look really pretty. And all I'm going to do is do like this. I'm trying to get it just right. I always cut it off, so I'm not worried. Yeah, I finally found my... My little scissors that I've been looking for forever. These are real small. I've been looking for those. Those were my very first fussy cutting scissors. Very first ones ever. ever. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna how I'm gonna move those. The 
reason why you want to use, I mean, you don't always have to if you feel like your tape is good enough. You don't have to glue. I like that it's got that little edging, but the thing is, I can't study it, steady it. But anyways, um, it's just to give it a stronger adhesive just in case, because not all uh, washi stickers are created equal. You can even buy it from a, you know, a really name brand that's really good about making good... Oh, look at that. You can still see it through it. <laughs> Anyways, that makes really good washi tape, and it still can be a dud, you know. Why did it do that? Darn it. There we go. But yeah. And it's not the maker's fault, really. It's just the adhesive sometimes just, you know, you get a bad batch of adhesive, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to like cover. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. Put these away. Now see? It's pretty. Ta-da! It's got that little bit of glitter. That little bit of shine. You know? I'm trying to make sure that those don't go over the side. I'll lose them all inside that little gap over here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fabric tack it down. I'm going to use the big container. Um, the reason why I say a big container, i got a little container here with a little bitty nozzle on it. Sorry, i got stuff falling in the way. <laughs> Anyways, it's got a little bitty nozzle head on it. And I just choose to... I'm going on the paper as well as the washi tape. Because I want to make sure it holds. Don't you hate that when that happens? Why not? Hate. You know, hate's a strong word. Doesn't it aggravate you? <laughs> when you're trying to hurry up and glue something. And the Fabri-Tac oh, keeps falling over. Make sure that's covered still. There we go. I got glue on my finger. Put my cap back on holding this for a few minutes. Oh, look what it did. Fabri-Tac took some of that gold off and was on the paper. That was strange, for sure. Now I just do this, roll it in my hand, and then you have the the goober from the Fabri-Tac. It just rolls right off your finger. And those that do this already and know about that, that y'all yeah, already know. <laughs> I'm just telling the ones that don't know that are starting to get into this stuff because it's fun. There we go. Now we have a little notepad. And there's six sheets of paper there. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so there's that. That's done. That's done. We've been to, and then we have the pocket here. And we've covered that in the last video. Then here's a tuck pocket here. And I stressed it so that people could see it because it was blending in too much with the background. That's the only time I use inks is that and one on my ephemera so that you can see the ephemera in the pockets better. Then we have this pocket here. I would do the same thing on it, but you can see it. It actually has a little contrast to it. Now, I need to do something with these before they fall in amongst, you know, over there. So, what I'm going to do is just grab these really quick, like... I know this is a waste of time, right? Wait, I'm going to keep that piece out. i just seen that one. That one and that one can stay in stay over here. Put these back over there. Whoa, get it back on my finger. I'm going to leave the the bronze. I love these. I think these are so pretty. I got that one, and there's a clear one. Not clear, but a iridescent white. And then I have, I think, a pink. Oh, no, it's purple. And a green. Reminds me of my teenage years. That was a thing that was really popular. You know, it was uh, showing my age. <laughs> Just 
I'm not going to sit there and organize it like I always do because then I'm wasting my time. My stuff is falling off on the floor, I think. Okay, because I don't want to waste y'all's time, in other words. Okay, so now we have a pocket. I'm going to put this over here. So I can't put it over there because I'll end up losing it. Okay, so we have a pocket here. And I've got something that I want to go in that. Let me find him here. Um, it's this one. Let's see if he'll fit. He may not fit. Kind of hopeful that he would. If if he if you don't, I might have to take this the uh, edging off. And I think he doesn't fit. He's too big, too wide. He'd fit without those. This was going to be a journal card. I need to make it a little bit thicker. I thought it was going to be thick enough. Because it is on cardstock. And I love how that maroon goes with it too. And this actually matches him. So, And then the yellow matches his hat. And the background is just that. So okay, that'll go in there. And now I've got to find something to go over here. I was going to make this into like a place where they can write if they want to. But because it's here, it's at an angle, and it's harder to write on that. Now, if they had a card that went back here, they might be able to, but I don't know. I'm going to take the edging off of that real quick. Okay, yeah, Patty, don't do that. I always do that to myself. And then I get uneven things. <laughs> I didn't want to do, you know what, I'm going to leave this one alone and use the other one. I have two of them. This is just the front of a um, comic book. Or maybe it's a movie. I don't know. No, it's a book. See, it says page 20. Or pages, I guess, 20. I don't know. Anyways, it's, it says Mickey. That's all I know. So I'm guessing this is pussy. Yeah, Walt Disney. It's probably that was probably his name, maybe. Is Walt Disney's first name Mickey? Let's see, I don't like how it leaves out white. Something's up with my cutter. Let's see, is that or there's something wrong with my eyes? <laughs> Which is a big possibility. I need to get new glasses. They're still giving me issues. Now it should fit, but I like to smooth the edges because you can see there's like this because it's starting to get old again. The blade, I got to get new blades again, but because I done, I think I've done and used the new, the last new one I had. So, anyways, this stuff here because when it happens, you know from it. And this is the rough side. This is the smooth side. You want to use the smooth side. I call it smooth, but the fine side of the, the fingernail. File. You just want to do that and get rid of that. Okay. You can also cut with these, believe it or not. With any kind of sandpapers. This rider is gonna look off a little. Started watching um, the 1883 movie, the western. Watched the first episode. I was like, gross, you know, because they were showing some gross things. But anyways, um, once I started watching it, um, after it was done, it said to watch the new episode, you have to subscribe to. Um, Paramount, I think it said. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm paying for Prime so I can watch certain movies. And all I'm getting is a teaser. I'm like, man, I thought this was like the, the whole thing. Like, I could watch it, you know, not have to worry. I was very upset. So, yeah, they lost my business there. Not not um, Prime, because I'm still using Prime. I'm talking about um, uh, the movie. 
characters. I'm not going somewhere else. I'm just getting the edges of this. This is for those that don't know this. I don't know if you can see the whiteness. Can you see the white on the edge? When you go like that, you can see that white. And then you see when you go over it, it's darker and it hides it. That's why we do that. It just gets rid of that little whiteness there. I mean, only problem is, is the back is real white. So that's why I also darken the back too. I can show y'all real quick how to do that. I just use these instead of buying daubers. I make them. You can make them from glue sticks, old glue sticks if you don't want to go to the landfill. There we go. You can also use um, thread spools. Don't let them go to the landfill. I mean, we go through those a lot when we're sewing. And if you have an old um, stamp that you don't really care for because it said hello on this side. I was like, I'm never going to use that. So I actually ripped the word hello. You can still see some of it off. And then put one of those and took the stamp off. And then I stuck one of those on. And then now it's a, it's a thing. Now the back. I grab a piece of paper. Gotta grab a piece of paper. <laughs> Come on, behave stuff. Turn it over on this side. This is just a biology book. So you, you got to make sure your area is clean, otherwise your stain, if it flakes, these things flake, it'll get on to your stuff on the back. Okay, I made this one. These are you can get these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, usually, um, it's hard to find them most times. But what you're going to do is you're going to start from the outside with your vintage photo. By the way, this is vintage photo. Get close enough so you can see what it says. Come on. There we go. Vintage photo. Uh, you can buy other kinds. Like here's some by Stampin' Up. You can use that as well. This is more liquidy than it is. Like this it has more of an oil to it, I think. Or this don't. Because this actually separates in my alcohol. Where this doesn't. So, just saying. Uh, but you can get this one. It's called Creamy Caramel. Or you can get Really Rust. And then there's another one called something other Cocoa can't pronounce that but anyways that's the name of that one but yeah this one would be more your walnut stain color see and this one is more of a, a reddish color this is more of a vintage photo almost but just, just a little too dark and then you have the caramel which is to me vintage photo um, but yeah you can use Stampin' Up there's all kinds that you can use or your, uh, your, your um, distressing, and you just want to use the brush, and you want to kind of go like this around the edges. Start around them, kind of go slow, like that. Hopefully, you can see this. I'm bring you a little closer. Uh, I watched Carol Tenson a lot. <laughs> She knows her stuff when it comes to making things look so legitly beautiful. See, that's my only issue is I press, and then I end up like bending my paper. Never go straight from that onto here, because otherwise you'll get that, and you don't want that. You want it to blend really nicely. Of course, you can see mine's got like little, anyways. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I'm trying. Carol, she goes like this. She's like real slow. And she gets it so perfect. And me with OCD, I'm sitting there going, dang it, man, I want to get like her so badly. But it's never going to happen. I'm impatient. I'm not, actually, I'm not impatient because I actually, my sister's impatient. <laughs> Um, she does not have the, you know, that, that patience to do these kind of things. But she tries. Okay. And I just want to tone that whiteness down. Just like that. And if you want it to look so vintage, what I do is darken one corner and I'll go to the opposite corner and darken it. A little darker than the rest. 
And the reason why, this is one I don't know if Carol's even told anybody. The reason why is because when you do, that's where people are touching it. When they're holding it, back up a little bit. It's where they're holding it. When they grab it from somebody, they hold it here or they'll look at it like this. And that's where your fingers are. And if it's a left-handed person, they're going to hold it up here or here. So, or there, what, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, okay, we got that done. Oh, why did I do that? I just realized, why didn't y'all say something? I was going to back that up first. Darn it. I was going to make it into a uh, journal card, uh, like a kind that you can put behind a page and write on. Darn it, it's already 20 after on here. Jeez. Ugh, time flies. Okay, so this will go in here now, hopefully. Will it fit? Will it fit? Come on, baby. It's a little tight, though, y'all. Mm -mm. I don't like that because then they'll have they'll have to fuss with it, too, and I don't want them to have to fuss with it. Oh, I can't cut it down. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one here. I wish I would have been able to leave the thing on it, but I think it'll be fine. So, I'm going to put this one here. And then here is just going to be, I'm going to tuck some infirmary in there then. And over here, I just haven't figured that out yet, but I'll get around to it later. Because uh, I need to do something on this side as well. I guess I'll just put infirmary in there. We don't have a whole lot. Uh, I'm trying to think what can go else can go in there. Okay, we're going to need to deal with them as well. I don't have really a lot for them. I just have like one of the little cards so I can figure out what I did with them. I have one little card. There it is. One little card. It's <laughs> all I could find. One little card. So it'll go in there. So yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. I have what here? This one is okay. This one is Cinderella, isn't it? Or Sleeping Beauty. This is Sleeping Beauty. So I have all this paper here, here, to work with something as well. So I need to come up with maybe another thing that I can put in here. What? I don't know. So we'll come back to that one. See if I have anything already started. Yeah, I took everything out of here so the, the this pin usually is here. And if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Pooh Bear goes in here. Piglet goes over here. So that brings that on. Piglet brings that on over here to this side. And then it's it's Pooh Bear. I love Pooh Bear, so he's going to have more anyway. And then we've got Snow White. All her ephemera will go in this one. And then we have this in between from there to here. And then it's Belle, which is Beauty and, Beauty and the Beast. I don't know what I'm going to do in here yet. These are done. This is how they turned out. They turned out really good. And the reason why he's just glittery and not her is because he's turning into a human form, which is this one. That's where he's... I did it like that because it's supposed to be this one. And then he's magically turning into himself. You see? And then they did too. He's not and she's not. That's the dad right there. So he's not magic. He's not been put, you know, magic spell on, but they have. Yeah, that's what I did. I still have to put paper on the back of these, and this goes on the bottom of this. And as you can see, I edged it with.